To demonstrate the difference between hearing and understanding, let's do a very simple test. I'm going to say a few words to you in a moment. All I want you to do is write down whatever words you think I say. Get a paper and pen handy. This test is actually called a speech discrimination test. It's used worldwide to measure someone's ability to understand speech. I'm going to give you 10 words during this test. As you hear each word, write down on your paper whatever word comes to mind. Please take a moment to set the volume on your computer to a comfortable level and get your pen and paper ready. Here's an example. You're going to hear me say something like this. Write down the word cat. You would then write down the word cat, C-A-T, or whatever word you understood down on your paper. Only make one attempt at each word without replaying it over and over. If possible, feel free to have someone join you that you believe hears well to make a comparison when you are completed with the test. Do not share your answers or repeat the words with anyone until the end. Are you ready? Is the volume set and pen and paper at your fingertips? Great, then let's begin. Word number one. Write down the word tips. Word number two. Write down the word pit. Word number three. Write down the word stiff. Word number four. Write down the word fits. Word number five. Write down the word cease. Word number six. Write down the word pick. Word number seven. Write down the word hits. Word number eight. Write down the word sift. Word number nine. Write down the word ticks. Word number 10. Write down the word hips. The test is finished. Take a breath now and relax. I'm going to give you the correct answers to the test in one of the last remaining educational segments. Since I gave you the words with no context or ability to see any facial expressions that can often help, you may have had some difficulty understanding these words. We can hear with our eyes, too. Generally, people with hearing loss become good lip readers, which often is an unconscious effort by someone with hearing loss to get more understanding during a conversation. This simple test is a good way to find out what you're actually hearing versus understanding without the benefit of context or vision. It will not be the basis for a diagnosis, rather an indicator of the possibility that something is causing hearing loss. It could be something as simple as wax buildup that is causing some problems. This is why My Hearing Centers is offering a free comprehensive hearing exam to all viewers of these educational segments. At any time, you can schedule your free hearing exam online or by calling the number on the screen. Click on Segment 5 to learn about the causes of hearing loss and misconceptions that exist among those suffering from hearing loss.